Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the five views we have in Project for the Web application. Now, I introduced you to Project for the Web in one of my early videos. Essentially, what Project for the Web is, uh, it's a task management tool. Uh, it's uh, a task management tool that is supposed to be a replacement for uh, Microsoft a project. Essentially, it's a tool that allows you, unlike Planner, where it's more of kind of informal and, you know, board style, uh, you know, uh, task management tool, um, Project for the Web is essentially uh, the tool that is meant um, to be used primarily by project managers. This is the tool where you can uh, essentially assign tasks, dependencies, manage resources. Uh, once again, I have another video uh, on that topic uh, in uh, on my YouTube channel. What I would like to do today, though, is uh, explain to you the different views that we have here, a total of five views that we have here on top, and explain uh, to you, uh, uh, you know, why we have those. So by default, it loads what's called a grid view, essentially. Uh, it's like a table, all right, that we're used to, uh, a list of tasks. Uh, very, very similar to what we are uh, seeing in Microsoft Project, right? Uh, this is essentially a list of tasks, and you can, uh, you know, obviously organize them by different groups. You can indent them. You can assign dependencies, you know, display all the different columns, like duration, start, end dates, all that stuff. So this is a default view. If you switch to board, what's going to happen, it's actually going to show these tasks in this uh, Kanban style. You know, this all, almost looks like Planner, right? Uh, essentially, it's a tool that allows you to organize the tasks uh, in, uh, you know, this Kanban style, um, you know, format, and you can drag and drop them here and uh, uh, just uh, view your tasks a little bit differently um, through different buckets. Uh, now, if you click on the timeline, uh, what this is, let me uh, zoom, uh, I guess, zoom it out a little bit. Essentially, what this is, uh, this is um, this Gantt chart view that we're used to seeing in Microsoft Project. All right. Uh, so this is like a grid view, but, you know, it only shows you kind of the, the task column. It doesn't show you uh, any other columns because we don't have enough real estate. And then it shows you essentially all the dependencies and again, uh, you know, chart style uh, kind of, uh, you know, format. And um, you can actually, uh, what's cool about this is that you can actually change, you know, drag and drop things here. And um, uh, essentially they will be reflected accordingly, uh, right, uh, on the task as well. Uh, the fourth view uh, is essentially, it's called charts, but essentially it gives you some statistics, all right? Um, and not uh, the most detailed one, but still, you know, it's a nice way to kind of review what's going on and how many tasks are completed, how many are late, uh, and uh, and so on. So essentially it uh, gives you some uh, information. I think this is useful if you are a project manager. All right, and uh, finally, the fifth view that we have uh, essentially, uh, this is great for uh, resource management. Uh, it shows you the tasks assigned to each individual. So it lists all the resources on top and um, all the unassigned tasks, they appear here. And what's great is that you can actually drag and drop them into respective buckets. And um, what will happen behind the scenes, uh, the task will be assigned to this particular individual. So it's kind of nice to see, first of all, whether the user, how many tasks they have, maybe you know, Mary has 10 tasks and, you know, and Greg has only five. So uh, from workload standpoint, it's a great feature, but also it's a nice way to just kind of distribute the unassigned tasks as well. Uh, and you can also see the, uh, complete, you know, uh, incomplete tasks and so on. Uh, the goals is not really a view. This is a new feature that we have. I will uh, probably record a separate video on that. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of a relatively new button we now have in Project for the Web. So this were the five views that we have, uh, pretty straightforward, but I think each of them kind of helps, will help the team members or will help the project managers uh, in terms of, you know, managing the project and task management. Uh, so definitely, definitely check them out. Uh, this is all I wanted to, to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.